Hello and welcome! My name is Lynn and today I have an unboxing of Crafter's Companion box number 52. This one is embroidery dies and it's interesting because I, when I think of stitching dies, I always think spellbinders. Maybe that's just because that's the first place I ever saw them. It might not be that they necessarily were the first to come out with the concept, but I feel like, um, uh, that's, you know, the brand I think of. And so it's kind of nice to see how other companies do it. I, I did, uh, unpack everything because when you get your box, everything comes in, um, these paper envelopes so instead of leaving everything in like that I've um, taken it all out so that it's easier to share so let me first um, I think I remember seeing that we can make 18 cards with the contents of this box and that's just to say they've provided 18 card bases and envelopes and it it does appear now that that we're down to just the one card size and um it's a little bit of a bummer but i'm totally okay with it if it means they can still offer these boxes at um you know these low prices and i don't subscribe but i buy them when they go on sale and they go on sale pretty often and i just picked up five boxes uh, sometimes they, they're like buy one, get one free on the Crafters Companion website. And so, um, I'm, I don't feel like I need to have it w right when it first releases. So I just wait for the sales. <laughs> so here are the pattern papers and these are gorgeous. I like this color combination of the pink and, um, blues. Uh, blue is my favorite color. Teal, more specifically, this isn't quite teal, but it's a very lovely shade of blue. Um, and I, I'm growing on the teal and pink combo. Um, that's definitely, um, oh, this is cool. This one has a really, might be hard to see on camera, but it's got a really fine, um, grid to it. The only thing with these papers, is I don't know if it's intentional I think it might be um it's it's a little bit marbled I thought it was, yeah I thought it might be sometimes when my printer is low on ink it sometimes looks this way um but it's very consistent so I think it is very intentional um because there are some spots that are a little bit darker and it's splotchy kind of um but i think that is how it's supposed to look uh especially this one it it looks kind of almost um uh kind of speckled a little bit so interesting very different uh i like the color palette though it's very nice so that's our oh i guess i'll keep this fanned out that's our pattern paper it is single-sided and I would say less, it's thin. I mean, it's not super like copy paper thin. I would still say it's like a very, very lightweight layering cardstock. Uh, I, if I had to guess, I would still put it at less than 60 pounds. Their solid color cardstock though, it does feel um, heavier, maybe, maybe up to 80 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. It's a uh, white core. And all of these sheets are 8 by 8 which is fantastic because if you do uh, mats and layers for cards like your 4 by 6 and your 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, you could cut um, whatever the height is. So a mat size that I tend to use for my USA 2 is um, the card base is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half folded and I like to just go a quarter inch um, smaller so I do four inches by five and a quarter so I would cut this at five and a quarter cut this in half at four and then I have two panels to layer with and um, you could do the same for the four by six size cards too and still have like a little extra or do like a full edge to edge mat. So, so I find this size paper is actually kind of nice to have. And they've really just maximized what they could fit in the box because the box will comfortably fit this size paper. 
And so you have your... Now, some of these colors feel odd. Um, like, wh why is the orange and yellow in here? <laughs> um, the green is a little bit more yellow um, than... It's like a little olive where that... Not, not so much. Um, but, you know, the blues and the pinks, I think, are okay. And it, yeah, this is, a, this is, this is weird right here, this end. <laughs> These are, I think, do okay coordinating. This might be a little bit more greenish than the blues that are in the pattern paper. But, um, it's strange because sometimes it, the, the solid color card stack is really a good, good, um, match. Okay, then we get, again, I think something else that's changed up is um, just as a standard, we're getting clear uh, uh, sort of dew drops instead of the multicolored uh, gemstones. And But you still get it in the three different sizes, and so clear goes with everything, plus it can be colored. We have a sentiment stamp set. So really, I love when they combine fonts. So I love that you have the thinner, wishing you all the, and then the big, bold, kind of scripty um, happiness in the world. I love that. I love uh, when they combine uh, different font styles like that. And so you get a lot of, a lot of good basics um, and some that are just very general, like, you know, just sending a little note. I love that. Um, and then for me, w what works really well is most of the time I'm making birthday cards and, and maybe holiday cards, but happy birthday, you get two, two different types. So you have birthday wishes and happy birthday. So kind of nice to have a little bit of variety for the occasion that for me personally, I um, make cards the most for. And here's our main event, the uh, stitching dies. So, or embroidery dies, as they call it. So it looks like, so we have a butterfly, and this one's interesting. This is actually a, uh, a border die as well. So you have the stitching plate that will cut the holes for you to do your stitch work in. And this looks like it's maybe um, flowers, um, are they all different type of flowers? I think they might be all different sizes and types of flowers. And then you have a border die, um, along that edge. And then this is a butterfly with, again, the stitching detail as a separate plate from the outside cutting edge. So what you could do is you, you don't have to use the die that cuts out the border. You could just stitch this design as a, um, just um into your maybe layering um a uh, piece of cardstock and then stitch into it as just a strip where you've got some lovely stitching detail and you don't actually have to cut that edge but if you wanted you could um cut off that edge and then you'd have a nice sort of shaped edge card so that's an option too and then we get all of our embroidery stuff in here. So we have the floss and the needle is in here. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so we have the needle. It's really nice that they put it kind of safely in this container. And then, ooh, I like this color. Oh, this is pretty. This is almost, this is a pretty nice teal. Again, I think it's a little bit more greenish than the blues in the pattern paper. Um, and then you have we have the full rainbow. And maybe this is why they've chosen the papers um, that they have. Because this does get... Besides purple, it's missing purple. But we do have all colors. And flowers come in all colors. And... Uh, butterflies come in a multitude of colors, so maybe they're just giving us, um, you know, some nice colors to, to go with that. It's a little bit, I, it's funny because I just picked up recently the Paper Craft Society box, and I think it was by Textures, and it was also about embroidery and stitching dies, and, um, I mean, I don't know about, about quality, they, 
they feel kind of the same. But in terms of color selection, I do feel like I preferred that one because these look very neon, some of these colors. Um, and, and it, my personal preference anyways, is to just have colors just a little bit more kind of, I don't want to say muted in the sense of dull, but just in the sense of just, you know, down a notch. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, butterflies, flowers, they're meant to be bright. So some of these bright colors, I think, um, do do make sense. But these two in particular, I just feel like are a little, a little, a little bit neon, a little bit bright. I think the rest are, are um, okay. But again, that's just my, my personal, personal um, preference. So that is the paper piecing uh, subscription box number 52 from Crafters Companion and you'll find this video along with any project videos um, featuring this box in my Crafters Companion playlist. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!